Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So up to now we have did the post complete the post concept we have did. So uh, create, retrieve, update, delete, enter CRUD operations we did in the post thing. So now what we will try to do is we will shift to the login authentication. So how we can do the authentication thing in the react project. Let's try to see. So first what I am trying to do here. So let's design the sign up page. First we continue with the sign up page. So here I am creating a sign up page and let's go and write signup.js so this is the signup.js i am creating the function sign up okay so this is the function function components i am creating so here it will be the props okay so the props i am taking and in this props what i can do so i am designing the div so in this div what i what we can take h1 so sign up okay first one we will create a sign up sorry sign sign up and here what I can do so export default so we need to export the sign up page so that we can use it wherever we want so here let's try to write sign up okay now let's go to the app.js to define the route so here to define the route what I can do so slash sign up if it is a sign up means just load the component sign up right and now what we need to do so here if we try to see here we let's add try to add the link sign up page so sign up link let's write it so go to the header component and if we go to the header component yeah we can copy this link right so directly i can copy this link and i can write here sign up okay why i am getting sync up okay sign up so here i can write something like sign up so when when the user goes to the sign up page it should load the component sign up so now if i try to see here yeah if I click on the sign up, I am able to see the sign up page. Perfect. Let's try to design the form sign up page, sign up form. Now here we are having h1. Now let's write class name and here I can write text hyphen 2xl. Something like this we can take 2xl and I can take font hyphen uh, bold or extra bold whatever the thing. So I will keep it like this and let's design the form. Here form and in this one let's write div and label will be email and another one will be something like div and here i can write input type is equal to text and the class name will be uh, what we can write bg sorry not bg right border so these are all the tailwind css right so we need to write each and everything from this catch onwards so we need to define so now p hyphen one i think most of the things it should be sufficient and we can copy this entire div and we can replicate this one to write the password so i can write password and this one will be converted into the password okay and now here in this down div i can create a button button sign up okay so here for the sign up we will be writing class name is equal to bg hyphen green we will write this time we will take green green hyphen 700 or something like this and text hyphen white and px hyphen 3 and py hyphen 1 whatever the thing so this is the button and we will write this one as a type is equal to submit so as this is a submit button so now we have designed the basic form let's see the output how it will come somewhat fine what we can do is so here i will give some margin uh, top and bottom something like y axis my hyphen 3 if we see the output so yeah the sign up button has come little bit down and now let's move it to the center of the screen so if we want to move it to the center of the screen for this due what we can do here so this is the entire due we are having this one as the entire due and what I can do here class sorry class name is equal to w hyphen 1 by 2 half half of this size I have took okay let's make it as uh, w hyphen full so that it will take the entire uh, width of the screen so the div uh, how much width it, it will have it will take the width full width now if we try to see yeah it extended and let's move it to the center now if i want to move it to the center what i can do here is class name is equal to flex and justify i think uh, justify hyphen center so that it can move to the center i am thinking yeah it moved to the center but this one is looking little bigger right so what i can do i will 
they will tell take it as one third of the width let's try to see how it will look like yeah somewhat better now what i can do here i can arrange something like m by hyphen 3 so that it will come little bit down perfect so we will add a some shadow shadow if you want to apply means so we can apply we will be having a class something like shadow we try to see yeah shadow is applied and now what i will try to do is i will apply padding inside this one yeah so this is looking somewhat better now i can apply something like border border hyphen gray hyphen so we can take something 3 400 or something we can get the border yeah so it's looking somewhat better so sign up page we have designed the sign up page if you want you can add something like instead of having my iphone 3 i can add my iphone 5 so that it will come somewhat little bit down yeah that's it it's enough so this is the email and the password we have written the sign up now what we'll try to do is we'll try to add the state also so here i can write constant email set email so we are as we are having only two so we can take use state of empty okay you oh sorry use state of empty in the same scenario we can take password so we can write the password sorry password and also set password username empty fine now what i will try to do here i will write add value is equal to it will take the email okay now i can write in the same scenario on change is equal to so you will be getting the e and here i can write directly set email of e dot target dot value right so we have directly implemented in the same scenario we will copy this one and we will paste it here directly so now here i can write password okay password and also we can write set password okay perfect now we are able to save the data whatever the data we are getting in the state now we'll try to implement the errors also so let's try to finish these errors also so that we will have a complete sign up form now here what i am trying to do here i will take let errors object so i will design basic thing so email will be error empty and also the password also will be empty so i am taking one simple object which is of type error object so how many input forms you are having we can maintain this object so now here i can mention constant errors comma set errors okay set errors is equal to use state of so i will send this errors object fine right so i can take this errors object and now what i will try to do is now when the form is submitted so on submit on form submit i can do so on sign up form or something like this okay on sign up so i will take the method on on sign up okay so i can copy this one and what i can do i can declare a function here so function on sign up so this could be my way of implementing the validations things as it is a small form so if you have your own means you can implement as 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 you can like so you can create a separate file validations file and you can write the there all the validations and you can refer it here just as it is a basic thing so i am writing the basic validations here what i will try to do is let error is equal to false so first time it will be the errors will be false okay if email is equal to is equal to empty if email is empty is means is means so what i can take is so here i can take something like constant here also i will take one error object so that could be something like uh, so it could be a copy of error subject so what is the error subject we are having so i am taking the same error subject okay so now what i can do is so here so this error subject so now error object so i can take error object dot email so i can write in such a way that uh, email is required okay email is required and now what i can do so i can make this error as true so we found the error i make i can make this one as true so this is one way of representation so if password is equal to empty so i can write the same thing i can copy here and i can write password so password is required and error is equal to true so what i can do here at the bottom set errors 
okay set errors of error object so i am taking the error object okay so now if not of error so if nothing error is found is means so then console.log form submit so we need to do the form submit so form submit so let's write this like this or otherwise it will stop so now set errors of error object is set so now what i can do is so here I can go into the div and I can write it here one div that is in such a way that errors dot email if errors dot email is there means then I can write such a way that div I can do and I can open I can close this div and I can write errors dot email the same scenario I can copy this one and I can paste it here at the bottom errors dot password so if errors dot password is there means I can write the same thing errors.password that's it I think so we have implemented the sign up what we have did so we took one error object email and password thing and we assigned it to the state and on submitting the post we are we are taking the copy and also we are setting one flag error flag so we are setting up all the validation messages whatever the thing you want and we are setting it into the state variable and this variable will take care of it if not of error miss we need to submit or otherwise it will stop I think everything is fine. Let's go to the console. Okay. Now what I will try to do. Oh, sorry. In the console, I can remove this one all. I clicked on sign up. So I got email is required and password is required. Fine. So now I can write it here, something like this, and I click here. Now see the form is submitting. The form is allowing to submit. So you can write email, invalid email, add validation also. We can write, we can implement it here. Okay, it's not a problem. Just I have implemented the basic validations how we can do the validations in the react js just i have implemented in order to show you how we can do it here in the functional components this is one way of writing the validation errors if you want you can write you can create a separate validation file in a services file and you can mention all the validation er uh, you can mention all the errors of uh, errors thing all uh, all in that service file and you can reference it here it's not a problem so anyway is correct so that depends on your logic you are building so how you will be writing the logic that depends on your way uh, for the time being what we have written uh, what i have written is so in this way we can write the validation errors also hope you understood so the sign up form so we have designed the sign up form in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to create an action for this sign up form when this sign up is successfully submitted we will try to dispatch an action into the redux store and we'll try to make a ajax call using the firebase authentication thing so how we have did in angular in grx vue.js and the angular course so the same scenario we will use it here also if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.